We're at a point of inflection in the future of food. Food 1.0, we were makers. We produced food. Food 2.0, we bought it. Food 3.0, what's the possibility? That we take the new set of fourth industrial revolution technologies and once again, we become the makers of our own food. George Orwell, the great British writer, said it would be the tin can that would kill more people in the long run than the machine gun. What was he going on about? We've had the century of big food, where we took hunger seriously. And what we've tried to do is harness the ecosystem, tame the fields to deliver their abundance to us. And we did a mighty good job on it. We lifted billions out of hunger. But what we've started to see a century later is the dysfunctions beginning to emerge. That we're now at a point where there's a billion people who are overweight, with another billion who are chronically malnourished. We got a system that is over delivering and under delivering at the same time. So, what can technology do to address some of this stuff to get a food system that's fairer, that works? Well, some of it's not rocket science at all. So take Kenya, where half the mangoes rot on the ground. You've got companies like Azuri, which are picking them up using a simple dehydrator to create mango leather. In Latin America, where bananas taking discarded bits of banana overripe, again, turning them into potassium-rich banana chips. Across the board, you're seeing an array of innovations to fix the fat-fingered system that we've got at the moment that wastes 40% of food between field and fork and to start to make it work. And then there is the fourth industrial revolution advances that get opened up as well. And this might be using the blockchain to be tracking the quality of the chicken. Just how old is it? This might be verifying the absence of slave labor in the shrimp supply chain. What is the point here? we got this arsenal of new technologies. And there's clearly a revolution that's starting to break out. Across the board, we are seeing that what we thought was a fixed model, the way stuff is done, the way stuff arrives on our table, that's all beginning to change. Is it all about technology? Well, as Kentaro Toyama, the former Microsoft research director said, technology is not the answer, it is the amplifier of intent. That's the central decision we gotta make. What do we wanna do with food? Do we want to use it to continue to divide between the haves and the have-nots or to unite? Do we wanna make a food system that works for the many? Do we wanna create a food system where we don't have this toxic combination of obesity and malnutrition, can we create a food system that delivers enough, more than enough for the many? That, I think, is the possibility that technology can bring us.